one that I had actually gone for. That is benzyl peroxide. I think that's visible. That's benzyl peroxide. So, y'all, benzyl has been with me and my pe people for like so long. Probably since I was in high school, I think it was recommended to my eldest sister by some friend of hers. And I remember my mom at the time, she was skeptic of her starting to use it. But I'd say, um, yeah, I, I, I can't really say I've ever had any, or rather at the time, I don't think I got any um, side effects from benzol and it would really work to be like so far as in like, uh, what's it called? um drying up acne you know so it was really good and benzoyl is basically a chemical compound but retinoin is a retinoid and a retinoid i think is basically vitamin a and then clandestinamine is an antibiotic i believe so it does work by um killing the bacteria that causes acne i think it's called p dot acnes i don't know the long name for the p parts and then retinoid basically helps in skin regeneration in it encourages cell turnover and discourages excess production of sebum so that ha that's how it works benzoyl also um works similar to tretinoin because it also helps in reducing um, the production of excess sebum, also kills the bacterial acne, but it's just a chemical compound. But um, yeah, back to now benzol. So benzol, um, yeah, we have been using it for quite a while, but I'd say with be with benzol, it works in such a way. It works in a similar way to pesticides. It's like you're 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 used to using a certain pesticide to kill maybe a cockroach let's give an example of that and then after a while the cockroach becomes immune against this because it's been too used to it or something of the sort so that's what happens with benzoyl over a long period of time your skin to a certain extent or rather acne the acne you have grows somewhat um like it kind of creates a defensive mechanism to what benzol um would fight again so it kind of stops working that's the experience me and my sisters had and i think a majority of the people whom i for so long whenever i'd see anyone with like bad acne or whatever i would always recommend benzol but um yeah for like um three four years or so now it just hasn't been working the same it's just that at the time i was kind of desperate so i was like yo i could try this but if you have never used it and you suffer from active acne a lot try it i would recommend it no side effect nothing okay also all our skins are different but this is what any dermatologist would also recommend for active acne and i think it works on all probably all um ranges of acne mild moderate severe i believe and then now to the last one the last one i'm gonna admit i have not used it it's called acnezol i think that's what's really trending right now but um it has a similar like i said it's the one i was recommended to first by the pharmacist but i declined it simply because of the harshness and the fact that you know it would maybe break you out first before working because this didn't do that to me and i'm so grateful for that so it has a similar composition to clear tea i believe but the only difference is that the tretinoin in the, the tretinoin in it is double the percentage that is here so i would actually recommend that for people with the most severe acne and just be patient with it um my friend um, has used this, um, Raquel has used this, and it's really worked for her. Mashallah to the both of us, because we've come from so far, y'all, like you can't even, you can't imagine it, we've come from so far. So, those are the three products that I would highly recommend for active acne, for acne vulgaris, for acne rosaire, yeah. 
So feel free to give it a shot. If you are skeptic, do visit your dermatologist first and um, ask them if it's okay for you to use it because they better know they know your skin better than I do. And I'm also no dermatologist, but um, these are things that have worked for me and have worked for the poor I know, so I would recommend it. I hope this helps. Um, do like, share, and subscribe, and I will appreciate that. Bye, beauty gang. Love you all.